Perhaps you've heard at some point that money is the root of all evil, but this statement is somewhat false. However, there's a deeper reason why evil exists in the world, a thing other than material possessions or riches. We're talking about the biggest enemy of humanity, the ego. This elusive concept drives people to act in ways that harm themselves and others. Today, we will discover the 15 deadly manifestations of the ego that we encounter every day and how you can avoid them. Keep watching. Blaming others for your misfortunes is a common defense mechanism of the ego to avoid taking responsibility. Admitting your own role in a negative outcome can be difficult and can challenge the ego's perception of itself. However, this tendency to shift blame onto others only serves to reinforce false personality traits and hinder personal growth. Instead, practicing stoicism can offer a solution. By focusing on what is within your control and letting go of attachment to the outcome, you can cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience. That is the purpose of Stoicism, which teaches us to accept the reality of our circumstances and respond with equanimity, freeing ourselves from the grip of the ego's destructive patterns. Belittling others to elevate one's status is a common tactic among those influenced by false personality. While it may initially seem effective, it ultimately reflects insecurity and a lack of genuine confidence. This behavior is particularly prevalent in competitive environments, such as politics, where individuals vie for power and influence. True confidence, though, comes from within, not from diminishing others. Instead of resorting to belittling tactics, strive to demonstrate your capabilities through fair and respectful competition. This not only earns genuine respect, but also fosters a positive and supportive environment for everyone involved. Using gossip as a means to damage reputations is a destructive manifestation of the ego. Like a contagious virus, gossip spreads rapidly, causing harm and turmoil in its wake. It thrives on sensationalism and negativity, often distorting facts and exaggerating details for dramatic effect. Refrain from engaging in gossip and instead focus on fostering genuine connections and positive interactions. Remember that spreading rumors or sharing harmful information can have far-reaching consequences, not only for the individuals involved, but also for the community as a whole. Karma never stops working. Choose to uplift others rather than tear them down with baseless gossip. At the end of the day, assumptions are not facts, only speculations. Being preoccupied with appearances or position in life is a common trap of the ego, particularly prevalent among younger souls. It stems from a distorted need for love and admiration, leading to prioritizing external validation over inner fulfillment. However, the pursuit of status and recognition often proves futile, as the ephemeral nature of worldly achievements becomes evident. The relentless quest for status can be exhausting, consuming valuable time and energy that could be directed towards more meaningful pursuits. Many who fall prey to this preoccupation find themselves trapped in a cycle of dissatisfaction, working tirelessly to maintain appearances and climb the social ladder. Ultimately, true fulfillment cannot be found in material success or societal approval. It requires a shift in perspective, away from external markers of success and towards inner contentment and peace. Only by prioritizing authenticity and inner growth can you break free from the trappings of false personality and find genuine fulfillment in life. Feeling jealous, envious, or resentful is a common manifestation of false personality, reflecting an underlying sense of inadequacy and unmet needs. Individuals trapped in this mindset 
may exhibit sociopathic tendencies, seeking to undermine the success or happiness of others in a misguided attempt to alleviate their own insecurities. However, jealousy is ultimately a self-destructive emotion, rooted in the belief that life is a zero-sum game where one person's gain means another's loss. In reality, the universe is abundant, offering plenty of opportunities for growth and success to all who pursue them. Rather than succumbing to jealousy, you can choose to shift your perspective, viewing others' success as inspiration rather than a threat. By celebrating the achievements of others and cultivating an abundance mindset, you can beat jealousy and embrace a more fulfilling and prosperous path in life. This manifestation of false personality often emerges in scenarios where individuals serve corrupt or unethical authorities. It's a convenient evasion tactic used by those who compromise their integrity for the sake of pleasing unscrupulous leaders. Here, all accountability is shifted onto others with excuses like, the devil made me do it, serving as feeble defenses. While similar to blaming others for misfortunes, abdicating self-responsibility differs in that the individual is aware that better choices could have been made. However, in extreme cases of false personality, individuals may be oblivious to the factors driving their behavior, remaining blind to their own shortcomings and instead blaming external agents. Abdicating self-responsibility not only perpetuates a cycle of victimhood, but also stunts personal growth and development. It's essential to recognize and acknowledge one's role in shaping outcomes, as true empowerment lies in taking ownership of one's actions and choices. Self-pity erects formidable barriers against potential solutions or thoughts that could alleviate the challenges of life's downturns. It's a self-defeating mindset that often leads you down a path of hopelessness, funneling all avenues of hope towards a dead-end destination. False personality thrives in the shadow of self-pity, perpetuating a cycle of victimhood and stagnation. The pervasive why-me mentality serves as a prime example of this destructive pattern, offering no practical utility in navigating life's adversities. Instead of succumbing to self-pity, you can cultivate resilience by focusing on solutions, seeking support from others, and embracing a mindset of growth and empowerment. Hurtful speech reveals a lack of awareness and empathy regarding the potential impact of one's words. While some may justify such behavior as tough love, words may undermine the possibility of fostering compassionate connections. For instance, in a relationship, addressing your partner's insecurities or emotional baggage requires tact and sensitivity. Dismissing their concerns or minimizing their experiences only exacerbates the wounds, hindering genuine understanding and support. Instead, compassionate listening and empathetic responses allows for meaningful dialogue and the cultivation of a nurturing environment where both people feel heard and valued. This insidious manifestation of false personality arises when an individual's desires eclipse empathy, leading them to view inflicting pain on others as a means to their own happiness. Whether driven by ambition or revenge, they rationalize their actions, disregarding the suffering they cause. The pursuit of personal gratification at the expense of others' well-being reflects a distorted moral compass and a lack of genuine concern for the impact of their behavior. Again, this attitude stems from the false idea that everything is a zero-sum game, but it's crucial to recognize that true happiness cannot be built on the suffering of others. Rather, it emerges from authentic connections and compassionate interactions that uplift and empower everyone involved. 
arrogance serves as the bedrock for various manifestations of self-importance and entitlement. Think of prime ministers and bureaucrats who never do their job right, but base their worth upon their position. It breeds delusions of grandeur, inflating one's ego and distorting perceptions of talent and worth. In the relentless pursuit of validation, people afflicted with self-importance often engage in unhealthy comparisons, measuring their worth against others in a distorted reflection of reality. This egocentric perspective blinds them to the unique abilities and intrinsic value of those around them. True self-worth stems not from a sense of superiority over others, but from an authentic recognition of one's strengths and limitations. Embracing humility and recognizing the inherent worth of every individual fosters genuine connections and promotes mutual respect in interpersonal relationships. Seeking applause or approval can stem from genuine intentions, such as seeking valuable feedback. However, when the need for attention becomes neurotic and desperate, the ego takes the reins. Excessive neediness often traces back to unresolved childhood insecurities. For instance, some may engage in acts of charity not out of altruism, but to gain social approval. However, true charity should stem from a selfless desire to help others, free from the need for recognition. Genuine acts of kindness are their own reward, resonating with the deeper essence of humanity and drawing divine blessings. Reacting predictably to experiences of pain or pleasure often reveals a reliance on habitual responses, disconnecting you from your deeper essence. In such instances, the emotional body takes control, reacting on autopilot to stimuli encountered in daily life. Common triggers include getting stuck in traffic, waiting in long lines, or feeling insulted. The response follows a predictable pattern. Impatience rises, frustration simmers, and the ego prepares for a confrontation. These automatic reactions rob you of the opportunity for conscious engagement with your experiences. Rather than responding thoughtfully, you succumb to the whims of your emotional impulses. This pattern perpetuates a cycle of negative reactions, reinforcing the dominance of the ego over your authentic self. Breaking free from these predictable responses requires cultivating mindfulness and self-awareness. By observing your reactions without judgment, you can begin to understand the underlying triggers and consciously choose a different response. Through practices like meditation and introspection, you can re-establish connection with your essence, empowering yourself to navigate life's challenges with greater equanimity and presence. In this classic manifestation of false personality, the ego thrives on comparisons, constantly measuring itself against others and seeking validation through perceived superiority. Whether it's education, wealth or status, the ego relishes in tearing down those it deems inferior. However, true growth and wisdom come from recognizing that everyone has something valuable to offer, regardless of their background or circumstances. No matter how educated or wealthy you are, there is always an opportunity to learn from those with less. Every individual possesses unique insights and experiences that can enrich your understanding of the world. By embracing humility and open-mindedness, you can transcend the limitations of ego-driven comparisons and cultivate genuine respect for others. Instead of seeking validation through superiority, you can foster meaningful connections and mutual learning, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of every individual. Sexual misconduct encompasses a wide range of behaviors that violate the boundaries and autonomy of others. While criminal offenses like assault and harassment are clear examples, sexual misconduct also includes subtler forms of manipulation 
and exploitation. When sexual desire becomes a tool for dominance or control, it reflects a deep-seated distortion of true intimacy and connection. At its core, sexual misconduct is a manifestation of a false personality driven by selfish desires and a disregard for the well-being of others. Whether it involves coercion, deception, or manipulation, it undermines the principles of consent and respect that are essential for healthy relationships. Moreover, sexual misconduct deprives individuals of the opportunity for genuine connection and intimacy. Instead of fostering meaningful relationships based on mutual trust and respect, it reduces interactions to mere transactions driven by selfish motives. This not only harms those who are directly affected, but also perpetuates a cycle of pain and mistrust in relationships. Ultimately, sexual misconduct not only inflicts harm on its victims, but also diminishes the potential for authentic connection and fulfillment. By prioritizing instant gratification over genuine connection, individuals perpetuate a culture of exploitation and objectification that undermines the dignity and worth of every individual. To combat sexual misconduct, it is essential to cultivate awareness, empathy, and respect for others' autonomy and boundaries. By fostering a culture of communication and mutual respect, we can create spaces where genuine connection and intimacy can flourish, free from the toxic influence of false personality and ego-driven desires. Every day, we're bombarded with negative emotions like anger, sadness, and frustration. These feelings often stem from our false personality, that inner voice that leads us down the wrong path. But here's the catch. Negative emotions don't have to rule our lives. Recognizing them for what they are is the first step to breaking free from their grip. Think of it like this. Imagine you're in a boat and negative emotions are like leaks springing up all around you. If you don't patch them up, you'll sink. But by acknowledging them, you can start plugging those leaks and steering your boat towards calmer waters. It's important to remember that these negative emotions aren't who you are. They're just a byproduct of false personality, that voice inside your head that tries to hold you back. But you have the power to silence that voice and choose a different path. So next time you feel anger or sadness creeping in, take a moment to pause and observe. Recognize that these emotions aren't serving you and then consciously choose a more positive outlook. It won't happen overnight, but with practice, you can learn to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. By confronting and addressing these everyday negative emotions, you're taking a bold step towards living a more fulfilling and authentic life. So embrace the journey and remember that every setback is just an opportunity for growth. Today, we've uncovered the subtle ways in which the ego asserts its dominance over our lives, perpetuating suffering and hindering personal growth. However, the key to liberation lies in letting go of the ego's grip and embracing compassion and understanding. Instead of succumbing to blame, belittlement, or jealousy, choose to take responsibility for your actions and cultivate a mindset of humility and empathy. Rather than seeking validation through status or approval, prioritize inner fulfillment and genuine connections with others. By acknowledging and addressing negative emotions, you can break free from the shackles of false personality and embrace a more authentic and fulfilling life. In the journey towards self-discovery and personal transformation, compassion serves as our guiding light, illuminating the path towards true liberation. So, let go of the ego's illusions and open your heart to the boundless possibilities that await 
when you embrace compassion and understanding as your guiding principles.